Hey Kate, how are you? Um, I am just going to try and do a couple of the, um, just the sequence that I think is going to be around about 25 minute mark. Um, I'm going to time it just to see because, um, yeah, we'll try and keep within that range um, that you were looking for. Um, but before I start, I just wanted to, um, to I guess, um, just have share a few things with you that I usually do um, when I do come out before sunrise. Um, so I would usually um, just come out, grab my candle, um, and I just always light a candle. I don't know why it's just part of my ritual. Um, you may have another, um, you may have something else that you want to light um, or something else that you want um, to, you know, sort of direct your gaze to throughout the um, session. But ideally, um, you know, it's not necessary. <laughs> it's just, um, I just do it. So I thought I'll just share that with you. So I light my candle. Um, or incense and um, and then I've got this <laughs> I've got this um, clearing spray that I use as well so it's I mean this is just like a white sage sweet grass blend um, but I just kind of just give a few sprays around usually in a circle and just let it just sort of fall onto my body and you know, it smells nice too. So it's just you know, an added little benefit. Um, and then depending on what the day is doing, like I might sort of actually take myself outside. Um, today it's quite cold. So um, yeah, I'll sort of be staying inside. But um, but yeah, I think it's sort of, as we were talking on the phone, it's, it's something that each day you feel the energy of the day you check in with your own energy and your own you know mental state physical state you know just respect whatever's going on because um yeah you know your practice will change depending on that um but yeah i'll move over to the mat and hopefully this is a good angle um and i've also got some notes here too that's what notebooks doing there um so if your knees are okay um, yeah, I would suggest maybe just coming onto your mat and just releasing down into your child's pose, whether you, um, separate the knees or not is up to you. I'll keep mine together and releasing down and just let the elbows be nice and heavy. Let the forehead drop towards the mat, close your eyes and try to take five to 10, just nice, steady well-intentioned breaths in through the nose and just let your abdomen expand just rise and fall breathe in the day Breathe in the energy and then release any tension on the exhale. In and out through your nose. And then slowly coming onto all fours. So we'll just do a few cat cow stretches. And just remembering to keep your knees in line with your hips and your hands are in line with your shoulders. So they're sort of just under your shoulders. Spread the fingers nice and wide and just gently clip the mat. So just bring your awareness to the mat, to the day and to the present moment. And then just tucking the chin in, rounding out the upper back. So just pushing into the mat with the palms of your hands, looking through towards your legs. And release, so arching the back, chin up. Just move through this, your own pace at your own time. Keeping your eyes closed if you like, particularly if it's Super early. 
your body's still, still waking up. Do as however many you like of these. And then when you're ready, just tucking your balls of your feet under and lifting your hips up, rising right up onto the balls of your feet. Let the head be nice and heavy and just let it hang. A few circles. Check in. Check you're not holding tension in the neck. And you can keep your knees bent here too if you like. Sometimes body's a lot stiffer in the morning. So just respect that. Okay, and you can just sort of keep the knees bent and even just bend and straighten one leg at a time. And then slowly releasing the heels down towards your mat. Try and draw your rib cage back towards your spine. For the length in the backs of the legs. And looking forwards and either stepping or jumping into the center of your hands. Keep your knees bent a little bit here because it is going to be early. Tuck your chin in, release your chest to your thighs. And then you either come to the fingertips or palms of your hands. Looking forwards, bending into your knees, backs of the hands come together and releasing up. Breathe into your abdomen. Lift your arms up, looking up towards your hands. And coming down. Just pause for a moment here. Quite often I'll get up and I'll just stand into Dalsana for as long as I need. Tune into the sounds around you. Check that your body is placed evenly on the left and the right. Hands are in prayer pose. Feel the sensation of your palms as they come together. Feel the sensation of the thumbs. Just, just gently press into the center of your chest. Drop your chin slightly. Close your eyes and breathing in and out through your nose. Grip your mat with your toes. And be present in this very moment that you're in. This is your time. This is your 25 minutes before you start the day. So I don't know if you remember our holding the fit ball, um, but it's envisaging <laughs> that you have one of those large fit balls um, in your hands and you're holding, so you're bending into the knees, tailbone tucking under, and then just starting on your right side, so to look opposite to you, it's, it's my right side, your left side. And just letting the wrists and the fingers be nice and gentle. Holding onto that fit ball as you bring it across your body. So just gently twisting the body, changing arms. This position's best done, or this little sequence is best done nice and slowly. The slower the better. Bring your ball across, changing arms, and across this time just lifting up, see how I'm just sort of pivoting my foot, just gives a different, a different movement and it helps just to lengthen out the top thigh. It just intensifies the movement a little bit. And then you can speed this up a little bit. 
Hopefully you remember this one from when we used to do it in class. So just go easy on your knees here. If you're finding that your knees are playing up a little bit, just move your feet closer in together. Try and keep your head still. Bend into your knees. And then just quicken the pace. And both arms come up, straighten to the legs, look up. Breathe into your abdomen. And then we're just going to keep our knee, keep our legs around about hip width. Bend into your knees. Tarbone tucked under. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. And just take a moment here to become aware of where your breath is going. Breathe into your abdomen. Feel the rise and fall of your belly. Grab two fingers and thumbs together. And we're going to roll shoulders in. One arm under the other. Opening out. Bending into your elbows. Releasing up. Give your fingers a little bit of a tingle, a little bit of a twinkle. And then tucking your, your tailbone under and releasing the arms down. One more time. One arm under the other, opening up, bending into the arms, up and down. Just move at your own pace with this. You can make it your own, depending on how energetic you're feeling, how tired you're feeling. So we've just twisted and then we're releasing the arms out. Back arm comes under the front arm, elbows wide, and then to the opposite side. Chin in, release out the arms. Back arm under the front arm, elbows wide. We're bringing feet together, knees together, palms together and walking up. down. What we're going to do is we're just going to bring one leg back. So just go easy here. You might just want to make a smaller stance. And then up. First two fingers and thumbs together, rolling forwards. One arm under the other. Bending into the elbows and up. Releasing the arms down. Just remember to turn that front foot in just slightly to help you in the balance. One arm up, one arm down. Feel that length right through to each fingertip, each of your 10 fingers. Lifting, if you're okay in the balance, you can lean over to the side. Both arms come up, changing sides. Lift into that top arm and release over to the side both arms come up then we do the twisting version so twisting to the right that's my right your left out we come the arms back arm in under the front arm and to the second side keep your chin tucked in Back arm under the front arm, elbows wide, and palms together, feet together, lifting up and looking up to your top hands. Come back down again, bend into your knees, tabo tucked under, and then coming back into a lunge with the opposite leg. Just make sure you come right up into the toe tip of the back leg, turn this front foot in. And then first two fingers and thumbs together, rolling in. One arm under the other, opening out. Bending to the elbows and up. And releasing forwards. One more time, rolling the shoulders in. One arm under the other. Bend to the elbows and up. And releasing down. 
One arm up, one arm down. Lift into that top shoulder blade and over. Just come over just as, just as far as you can. You don't want to be too wobbly. Just feel into it. Both arms up, change sides. Lift into that top shoulder. Lean. Both arms up. Bending the elbows. Twisting to the first side. Back arm under the front arm. Elbows wide. Twist to the second side. Chin in, releasing out. Back arm under the front arm, elbows wide, palms together, feet together, and looking up. Coming down, and then just bringing your arms by your side, and just doing a few heel raises, just as many as you feel comfortable doing today and find your center breathe into your abdomen and then just coming up onto the ball of one foot your tree pose so either soles of the foot sole of the foot on the outside edge of the um, of the calf or up a little higher Pressing that heel into your groin, that knee that's bent, just turning it out and down. Hands together in, part, in prayer pose, and then either stay or lifting up. So whatever flows, whatever flows for you in the morning, just feel into it and do that. Coming down. And changing sides, tucking tailbone under, and then choosing your position. Knee out and down, palms together. Sometimes I just stay like this for, for ages and just listen to the birds. The stillness of the morning. Try to just watch the sun as it starts to rise. Breathe into your belly. Come down. Just coming into a longer stride now. So it's sort of that horse stance position, interlocking the hands and then lengthening. Tucking your tailbone under and then pushing, you might remember this one, pushing your shoulder blades forwards and then tuck your chin in and look down. Breathe into your belly. And lifting up, so lengthening, try and have your, your arms alongside your ears, but don't worry if you, if you can't, just keep them forwards so slightly. Lifting and then Lift first and then lean. Just give a little bit of length to each side. We'll just lengthen into the sides. Coming back up again and over to the other side. Try and just remain calm and peaceful. Only go as far as, as you need to to just feel that length in either side, both sides. And then just interlocking the hands behind your back, straightening to the arms, and either staying or you can move the arms away. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Um, you can move the arms slightly away from the body. And then the other option is coming up onto the balls of your feet. Breathe into your abdomen. And then releasing down. We'll do here. I think you might remember this one as well. This time we turn the feet in. Just go easy on your knees here. Hands on your hips. And then keep your knees bent, particularly in the morning. 
um, because you know your body's going to be a lot stiffer than what it is when it's warmed up and then slowly just releasing your body down if you need to put a block or a, a prop uh, down on the mat or on the floor then 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 do so and then we're just bending to the elbows releasing the head down just let the head and neck be nice and free what you're looking for here Kate is just a release so just try and just release down doesn't matter if you're up here and you're releasing you just want, just want you to sort of feel that just feeling that release And then if you can, we place one hand underneath our head, the other hand goes to the hip, and then we're gonna to look to that side and then either stay or lifting the top arm. And then the last option is turning the head neck and eyes to look up towards that hand. Releasing down and then to the other side. And lifting up if you're feeling like it sometimes I just drop my head down and I just come down like this and I just drop it and that's enough keep my knees bent it's just that it's just that movement of just it's a great release this one just allows your body to to just sink into the day and then just bring your feet together either jumping or stepping bend into your knees tuck your chin in pushing your, your body forwards, keep the knees bent and tops of the hands are together as you release up and look up towards your hands and coming down. Now if we come down to the floor, I'll just do a couple of sitting positions and we can add to this however you like. Um, I think we're already past the 20 minutes here. Um, so what we do is so you sit sort of you just you're just sitting on um, on your mat and you just bring your feet together and your knees together and actually if I do it this way it might be easier and then you just you place your the palms of your hands behind you bend your elbows and then you come up and you either can keep your knees bent or you can straighten into the legs and then you start to just rotate the ankles, changing sides. This is really, really good for your tummy muscles as well. But yeah, you can even just do this, a bit more of a passive position and just changing. But yeah, depending on how how much you really get into this one, you can do it as long as you want. Or you can even you can even use that when you first when you first wake up. And then we'll just do butter kanasana for the hips as well. So this is another one that I'll do before meditation, usually. And just try and keep the soles of the feet together and then bending the elbows to create that resistance as you push. The elbows into the thighs and the thighs up into the elbows. Don't forget to breathe into your abdomen and then just placing your hands behind you as well. Just try and relax your pelvic floor muscles and just let your knees fall away from each other. Breathe into your abdomen. And then just extending one leg out, bring one foot in towards your groin area, just flexing into the foot and then lifting up. What I want you to do is to bend this straightened leg. So you're turning your, you're twisting your body so that your body is over your leg bending into your knee and then releasing the chest down. So just be kind to yourself here in the morning because you'll be a lot stiffer, I know I am. And you just wanna try and get that, just get that length in the legs and the sides of the body. Releasing down, just as far as you comfortably can go. 
and not straightening into this leg until you feel the chest connect with the thigh. So just lengthening. You might want to bring your arm up over your head like I'm doing. It's just whatever feels, whatever feels right for you. That's the most important thing. And then just twisting to the side. And then same thing, bending into that knee, coming down, walking the hands and releasing. Breathe into your abdomen. Oh, that is the 25 minute alarm. <laughs> Okay, so once we've done the leg stretches, then I would usually do some type of meditation. Uh, so we'll do the, uh, the honey wristed moving meditation first. Um, so we bring first two fingers and thumbs together and then roll your shoulders in and then one arm under the other. We'll do this, this type first. Bend into the elbows and up. And releasing down. And then again, this time bring the tops of the hands together. Palms come in front of your face. Lifting up and opening out. And then shoulder blades in and over your knees and one more time you can really just do this as many times as you like Sometimes I'll just sort of release to the sides. So I'll bring one arm out, place a hand on the mat, lift into the top arm, lengthening over, and then changing sides, and then over. And up, and then placing one hand on top of the other, one thumb on top of the other. Breathe into your abdomen, close your eyes, drop your chin and just take your awareness inwards. Feel how differently you might feel from the start of when you came outside or to your mat, inside, whichever whichever option you've chosen today. Feel into the weather, is it sunny, is it cold, is it rainy, is it windy, listen, listen to what nature is telling you about this day. Little clues of what the day may hold. the natural flow, the life force, smile, be proud of yourself for making the effort to rise early and dedicate some time to yourself. Listen to the birds, listen to the creek if it's running, feel the warmth of the sun. And we'll do three arms to 
close off. Breathing in through your nose. Ah. Ah. Last one just a life of its own and then just bring your palms together and namaste kate let's see how we go with this thank you for reaching out to me to do this it's been quite fun and what we'll do now is um, I'll get you to watch this a couple of times and then we'll have a, or maybe you can just give it a go um, yourself if you feel comfortable and, um, and then I can run you through it via um, FaceTime or however you would prefer. Okay, I'm sending so much love and light to you, my special friend, uh, and I also have something in the post for you as well. So hopefully um, that will arrive. So I'll see you when we see each other on FaceTime. See you, Kate.